ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Matt's Cigars and Whiskies. Now in this episode we're going to be going for a cigar review. Now this cigar is one that is a limited edition run from the Alec Bradley stable. Now beginning in 2014, Alec Bradley released the Nicker Puro Diamond Rough Cut. Now that is an absolutely beautiful cigar. Diamond cut because it is actually in the shape of a diamond but if you were to look at it closely it's more of a teardrop type shape. But these were first released in 2014. Limited run, I believe there's 1500 boxes of these per run. The last release was 2018. This has been sitting in my humidor for quite a while as you can imagine. It's one I wanted to get reviewed before I slowed down on the videos. Now the weather outside is lovely, getting back into the cigar reviews. I am going to review this one today for you. Now, it is six and a half inches long, or six and a quarter inches long, sorry, by 54 ring gauge. Average in the UK, sells around for about £15 per cigar. Now to create this cigar, they need to use a special mould. It mainly, like I say, box press, it's not a box press, it is a certain type of mould they use for this, which is why they keep it as a limited edition rum. It is full Nicaraguan all the way through. It's a Nicaraguan wrapper, binder and filler. The only difference with this to a, other, to a normal Nicopuro is apparently it has an extra piece of Ligero leave within the filler, giving it some extra potency. Now, it smells dark, earthy, dank. It smells absolutely stunning. It really, really does. It's meant to be a bold cigar. It's meant to be a strong flavour of a cigar. Just by smelling it coming out of the wrapper, the cellophane, I don't know where I put it, the cellophane was yellow, oily. There's a lot of oils coming out of this. Like I say, it's been sitting in the humidor for a while. I've got another couple sitting in there as well, but I'll save them probably for when I have some friends around in the summer. Roughly around about an hour smoke, maybe longer, depending on how fast you smoke it. But what I would say with the strength of this cigar, in the high range and the body of this meant to be up high I would always suggest having a full stomach when smoking this and also I would suggest having a sweet drink with you or maybe even some whiskey um, if I wasn't going to have to pick my missus up this afternoon from work I would be doing a film with this with I reckon it would go lovely with a crispy space side um, Maybe a Tam the Volum, something along them lines. Not the, I reckon the sherry cask. I reckon the sweetness of the sherry cask with the dark earthy flavours of this would go absolutely perfectly. But no whiskey for me today, it's going to be soft drinks only. So, like I say, it's a very popular cigar when it's released. They sell very quickly. You can't find any, at the minute on the internet, I've hunted high and low for them, can't find them anywhere. Hopefully Alec Bradley will release another run of these soon. Putting the video out there, so if they are released, check it out. Like I say, go and try and find them. But on that note, like I say, Alec Bradley, Diamond Rough Cut. It's cold outside. It's a beautiful day, though. Let's get out there and smoke this and see what we get from it. Right, we're outside. Beautiful day, like I say, it's uh, coming towards the end of January, into February, so it is winter, but the sun is absolutely beautiful today. It's perfect cigar smoking weather. It really, really is. So, Alec Bradley, Nicopuro, Diamond Rough Cut. See if I can give it a punch. Lovely. Beautiful. Seems to be quite a quite a plugged cap on this actually. Lovely, right. That is that done. Now let's get a lip and see where it takes us. She smells absolutely blooming delicious. 
Get a toast to start with. Always toast your cigars. How many times have I got to tell you? Oh, the aroma's coming off that. Earthy, but earthy, earthy, smoky flavours coming off that. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Wow. That first initial pull on that. Coffee, chocolate. Earthiness. Mm. And just look at the smoke output. That is not a tight draw, and that felt a little bit plugged when I first uh, took the cap on that. But now it is absolutely stunning. Straight away, like I say, earthy flavours, chocolates, espresso. Slight spiciness in there as well, like a pepperiness coming from that Nicaraguan filler binder and wrapper. It's dark, it's oily. Even on the first few tokes on that, that is absolutely amazing. It really, really is. Mm. Beautiful. Slight nuttiness in there as well, not a massive nuttiness, but like a slight walnut taste coming through. But the overall flavours for this are earthy, dark chocolate. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see the oils on that. The shininess of the wrapper. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I say, it's been sitting in the humidor quite a while. Resting. All the oils are coming out through the wrapper. What a delicious cigar. It really, really is. Mm. Like I say, beautiful smoke out, but fantastic cigar so far. Right, that's the initial first lighting of this. I'm going to take this down. I'll come back to you in a little while when I've gone through the first third and I'll give you my thoughts on this and see if anything is changing them. Welcome back. Right, through the first third, as you can see the burn line, burn line on that is pretty good to be honest with you, not had any problems with the burn. The ash has only dropped a little while ago from the first third and as you can see with the ash, it's flaky, it's rustic, it's it's not a solid ash coming down, it's flaking off and it, you know it's a it's a nice ash, but the cigar itself is absolutely fantastic. Smoke output from this is absolutely delicious. The initial strength for this which I said was meant to be strong. I don't think it's that strong, to be honest with you. It's more like a medium, not even above medium, just sitting nicely in the medium. Still a lot of cocoa coming through, a lot of woodiness, slight nuttiness, but within this now, it's more, I wouldn't say the flavors are fading. They're not as strong as to start with. It is now more of a nice earthy woodiness coming through, which is absolutely fantastic. It is truly delicious. Take me about half an hour to get so far down to this level in a cigar. No relighting, no retouching, it is held together perfectly. The shape of this, the Toro, it's not, I suppose around the end where the heat is, it's starting to fatten out, but it is holding together absolutely beautiful. Like I say, £15 on average each if you can find them, but most people do not sell these in singles because they're such a limited edition run. People get a box and they just keep a box to themselves. I think I was very lucky to be able to get a hold of some of these when they became available.
I just love that Nicaraguan taste and the earthiness that comes from a Nicaraguan cigar. It's got to be one of my favourite New Worlds, it really has. You know, don't get me wrong, I love a Cohiba, I love a Bolivar, but when it comes to tobacco and leaf and binder, Nicaraguan is always up there as well. It is absolutely delicious. Now what I'm going to do, I don't know if this is going to change much, I'm going to take it down through the last final bit of the cigar, see if anything changes and I will come back and give you my final thoughts on this in a minute. Bring you back now, finish this cigar review there. Not a lot has changed in there from this apart from the first third was very heavy, very earthy, very chocolatey and it's now getting slightly milder with a lot more pepper coming through. That is the more flavours I would say are coming from this now, a lot of pepper, a lot of wood. A lot of earth coming through as well. Very, very earthy cigar, but an absolute beauty. Taking about 45 minutes so far to get down there. Like I say, I've loved it. It's been an absolutely stunning cigar to smoke on a beautiful Great British day. It's cold, but the sun's out. There's not a breath of air really at all. The wind isn't actually blowing. It's beautiful. This cigar, I'm gonna give it eight out of 10. I really am. It's a great cigar. If you ever manage to get your hands on one, then please, please just give it a go. It's different, it's funky, and it tastes absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next review.